Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm making a couple of knobs for an adjustable disc sander which I'm going to fit on my lathe. I made a template for this. I've uh, drawn two circles, one at 60 and one at 75 and I've divided into three equal parts. I'm going to mark through to the wood so I can drill through with a small pilot hole. I'm countersinking the drill hole so that it's easier for the bit to find. I'm drilling it from both sides so I've done both sides with it. Okay, I've got a 28 forster bit. I'm doing the centre down to about 5-6mm for, for the um, insert. Once I've done that I'm changing the force of it to 35mm. I'm going to go all the way through with these three holes. Changed over now to a 60mm hole saw. I'm going to cut knobs out from both sides. So I'm turned it over now, and um, this is what you should end up with. That's the outside of the knob with the insert hole in it. Okay, I've changed over now to a 28mm hole saw, which is the same size as the insert. I'm going to cut, cut right through on these. And that's what the finished knob is going to look like. I've switched over to the, rail, to the route table and I've got a small round in there. I'm now going to put a round on the knobs. I'm going to put a bigger one on the outside. So I'm going to drop the, the cutter down slightly to do the inside. Just doing the inside now. Final assembly time. I've uh, put a coach bolt through. The coach, coach bolt's got a bit of a square on the end, so I'm going to hammer that through. And that should stop the bolt from turning. And I'm making, mixing some epoxy resin up, but I want to put a, a washer on the inside of it, as we'll see in a second. Now I'll put the, in, I'll put the spacer in, glue that in with wood glue, and now I'm just going to epoxy resin the washer on the outside. I'm putting a nut on this to tighten it all down while the glue sets. That's it, two knobs made. Now just clean up and paint. I put a few nuts on, on the thread to protect it while it goes in the chuck. Just going to use some sandpaper and just get everything smoothed off. Gave it a coat of primer and now I'm just going to finish it off with a nice coat of yellow paint. Hope you found the video interesting if you did please like and share and don't forget to subscribe for the next video thank you